Hi, I'm Wes Colson from Colson Elder Law, proudly serving clients throughout the St. Louis metropolitan area and beyond from our offices in Illinois and Missouri. I hope you enjoy the Elder Law Minute video that you're about to watch. Our purpose here is to help educate you and inform you. Our thought is that we can help people best when they know what kind of situations they need help with and that there is help available and that we're happy to provide it. Hope you enjoy. Hi, I'm Wes Colson. I'm starting this with my mask on to give you a sense of comfort that if you need to come into the office, you will know that we are aware of and are taking uh, all reasonable measures to protect you and us from uh, coronavirus. So uh, I'm gonna take this off though so you can see my smiling face and hear me just a bit better for the, the video. Uh, this is one of our series of videos that I'm calling our coronavirus preparedness series. And what I want to talk to you about today is just kind of walk you through the process of how we're going about doing estate planning for people during this time. I, I know that a lot of people are thinking, you know, I, I really do need this because I am concerned about the risk of contracting COVID-19. Uh, but you're also concerned about walking into a lawyer's office. So, here's what we have in place. Um, we start out the whole process with things that we can do with you by email or mail, getting you forms that we use to gather information. Um, and when we get those back from you and we want to have a first meeting to talk about what we're helping you to accomplish and to get uh, you go over your choices that'll be reflected in the documents that we prepare. We've traditionally done that by telephone, but we can do it also now by a Zoom video conference. Don't be overwhelmed by that. On your end, it's actually pretty easy. If you have a device that does emails and has a webcam and a microphone, you're all set. So that could be some PCs, almost all laptops, notebooks, tablets, uh, or even a good old cell phone will get the job done. Um, once we've done that, we get the documents and we send you the drafts again by uh, email or mail for you to look at. When you've approved them, we have the signing meeting. For the most part, we are doing those in the office, but we have you set up at a table that we have cleaned with the documents laid out. Uh, you'll have masks on and we will be standing outside the door of offices where we can see each other, where we can talk to you uh, to run you through the signing process. Uh, or if you are in a situation where you can't get out uh, we are also set up to do signing meetings uh, by video conference. I'm going to be honest and tell you we don't uh, prefer to do them because there is a checklist of 28 uh, items that we need to go through to comply with uh, the executive order from Governor Pritzker on those. Um, but we're going to make sure that we help you, so we'll do what we need to do to get it done. Thanks.